welcome back to our series about how our week by week curriculum looks in High Desert Family Doodle Land. My name is Erin and I am um, one of the co-owners of High Desert Family Doodles. I am excited to be sharing just the process of our litter development as we journey with Winnie's retirement litter week by week. Um, this summer harvest litter is just so sweet. Um, you can tell they're all Winnie puppies. We weren't sure that that Rudy would have puppies. We did have to do AI with him and so we decided to make it dual sired so that we'd for sure have puppies out of this last litter for Winnie. So we found out in testing this week that one of the puppies, Roma, is in fact Rudy's. The rest of them are Luca's. Um, when he had seven of Luca's and one Rudy puppy, like I said, um, her boy, girl, boy to girl was three boys and five girls, eight puppies total. Um, she's still taking care of them so well. And the third week of life, so they're two weeks old, this week of life, so week three, is a pretty big development milestone for our puppies. They um, all have started to get their eyes open at the end of the week two, but by week three, all have eyes open, their ears start to open up this week, and so we do some loud noises to help um, open up that sensation for them. So we start um, bringing in noise as well because now that they can start to hear that is another exposure for them um we wrap up our ens and esi at the beginning of week three and so then we start 10 step handling with our puppies um, i'll show you what that looks like but they get handled every day from here on out so we bring more people in to handle them um, more puppy exposure time with um, different people and faces uh, starts even now and then um, after they've seen that ESI uh, finish, they get one exposure item a day. So something that's a novelty item is what we call it uh, in their whopping box. Just anything new and different is an exposure to them. And so we start bringing that in every day this week too. <laughs> puppy room a little bit in here we still have Jenna in our other puppy nursery so I have our curriculum pen pulled out instead of in this corner where it normally would be so that they have a curriculum space and then our puppies have this nighttime space so I can close this off one for Winnie to not have as much distraction um, but also to keep other dogs from being able to come in this area. Granted, this is really just a cover because we've got these gates too. Luna can jump over them, but she's not trying. Huh, weenie girl. So, we just nursed, babies are sleeping, but this is where we're at. I just added this bed today and um, we're starting to use potty pads. So you can see they don't really need, this is a heat pad and they're hanging out together. So I'll probably take that out pretty soon. That way Winnie will have that whole area to nurse. And then we'll surround puppy pads in the evening when she stops getting in there. So that's where we're at. This will end up having a crate eventually, but I just have a bed and some pad holders and then another heating pad just to transition as we clean out one pen it's easier to have a place to put puppies so that's where we're at still going through the motions of their third week of life two week old puppies starting to potty train it's pretty crazy in here 
so you can see they're pretty active looking for mom trying to decide if she's gonna let them eat um they change their pad and area while i let winnie out and put them in here so a couple of them peed over there a couple of them you can see went straight over here to go potty which is awesome there's just one over here but the rest of them made it in potty areas on one or the other pin and she's trying to just stand in nurse already which is wild these puppies are almost three weeks old so this is our third week and we've got different exposures every day and i'm about to do their handling and but otherwise things look pretty similar we've got the tv up here for noise exposure i've got mom still eating or feeding and doing all her her eating to feed the puppies and cleaning the puppies but otherwise it's just handling and um, a noise and or item exposure a different one every day i'm about to put these flowers in so you can see them interact with those as i do handling during our routine today good girl mama you so happy you a good mama she's such a good girl so that's week three i'm gonna show you some handling while mama feeds the rest of these babies this is little basil girl <laughs> So cute and as we finish up ENS and ESI which is some gentle handling at the beginning of week three we move into 10 step handling so every day we handle the puppies that helps them be used to um, touch and um, handling as it's called um, we touch their toes every day make sure that they understand that that's normal and tap their um, little nails we also do their nail trims once a week uh, while they're with us. You can see she's still a little squirmy because mom's just done feeding. But I will cover her eyes now that she can see. We do their ears. Dogs need to be comfortable with the vet, comfortable with the groomer. I'll go inside the mouth. This is also when I'm checking to see when the dogs have teeth because somewhere between weeks four, three and four, um, they'll all get teeth and start to eat mush. You can see she's leaning into that. Yeah, hi. I'll go down her back, touch her tail. Hi. Touch her tummy. And then give her a little bit of love. I want to make sure to set her down nice and calm. Yeah, nose to nose. So there's 10 points um, that I will list below so you can see what the 10 steps are for. But that is our handling. We do that with every puppy pretty much every day until they leave, or at least in some fashion. Once they're older, they're used to being handled so much. Um, we just want to make sure they're not having, oh, he's got a little teeth in there. Got a little teeth popping. These guys are going to be close, close to mush. It might happen this week. We will see. So that's handling. Um, we do puppy tips in our weekly emails to all of our families as well. So this week we talk about nail trimming and the importance of that tolerance and touch. Um, the more you handle and cuddle your puppies, I actually just read an article about how cuddled puppies from AKC, I think, um, and, and handled puppies are um, more confident dogs. So this is where it starts, right at the two week mark. Thanks for joining us.
watching. Growth week for them. Um, they're doing great. We're so excited um, to be able to share this litter with you and for our families that are coming in. Um, because of the testing that we found and did also for um, us as breeders and other breeders that were looking to get puppies from this litter, uh, we do have one puppy available, which is kind of rare. Um, and so for us, and so we have um, cycled through our wait list and have not confirmed for sure that that puppy is taken quite yet. Uh, our wait list always gets first pick to those puppies that become available. Our litter deposits are transferable within our litter. So some people move up in that um, instance, but at this point we might open that up to the public. And um, yeah, hopefully find a family solidified so that they can continue to journey with us as we um, send out weekly updates for our families. We do post a little bit more even still behind the scenes with just our litter families on a separate app so that they can see more daily um, exposure with them and daily updates. Um, that's new to our program that we're trying to do that even on the side. And then obviously our social media is pretty up to date with what's going on um, with new big things um, a few times a week in the least. So um, Weenie's Litter is doing good, like I said. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know, but we'll continue to share what is happening in their development and what we do um, to help train them with different exposure and socialization through the process. Hope you enjoy and thank you for joining us. Have a great day. When you can't resist a good snuggle sesh. If you want snuggly puppies, get a Winnie dog. That's for sure, huh? What's this? Yeah. <laughs>